visceral fat doesn't really respond to caloric restriction. Now, this isn't actually correct at all. And here's why. I just want to say I was sent this video a few times. So I took the liberty of going and checking this person's account. And it is mostly, if not almost all good information, unlike some of the other women aren't just small men, menopause experts. With that said, caloric restriction is likely the most effective way to reduce visceral fat. And actually, almost all other ways are almost inherently tied to the energy balance equation. So things like exercise and sleep. The problem is it's very, very difficult to separate the impact of exercise and caloric restriction on the impact of anything. Sleep for me, stress are two of the biggest ones where we can, there is some suggestion that there is almost certainly some impact independent of energy balance or caloric restriction on visceral fat. So improving your dietary quality as a whole, and she mentioned specifically increasing fiber consumption, is likely going to be beneficial. This is why I am totally with the idea that it's not all about calories when we talk about improving someone's overall health around visceral fat.